the trenches um, on the front line of the Battle of Somme in um, Beaumont Hamel. Uh, in this area, it was known for where the Newfoundland Regiment fought. They were the 88th Battalion. And out of the 800, was it 800? Yeah. 800 Newfoundland soldiers that fought, 86% were wounded, killed, or went missing. And there's a plaque that gives to them on that caribou in the distance. And the first day of the sum. 60,000 people died. No, well, were died. Injured, injured, and, and 20,000 were died. And that was in, that, the majority of that was in the first six hours of, of the first day. That was on the 1st July 1916. On the left hand side, in the distance, you can't see it from here, but that's where the Grand Ravine was. Yeah. Where the, well, Wide Ravine, sorry where the Germans dug their trenches. The main problem with the Somme is that the Allies had been bar bombarding the German trenches for the past 10 days. So the Germans were fully prepared for an attack. And at 7.20 on the 1st of July, for some reason a bomb went off. The mine went off. The mine yeah, went off sorry. that was supposed to go off at 7.30. So then the Germans had time to load all their guns and they were just ready for all the and it said that if, if you did manage to get out of the trenches alive, you wouldn't survive past that too. Because that's the plaque of the missing soldiers. So the Allied tactic was to bombard the German trench with heavy bombardment. It's a submission, which yeah. didn't really work. But it didn't work because, first of all, only 40% of the artillery, um, no, only 60% of the artillery would actually work because the rest was all just didn't work because they tried to mass produce everything. Obviously, uh, Britain didn't have the technology at the time as well. And there are cemeteries all across this area which have the bodies of those we could find. Over 20 pairs of family members um, died together here and that affected St John's. It said that there's not one street in St John's, the capital of Newfoundland, that was not affected by somebody dying here. On the 1st of July, every year, Wait, instead of celebrating Canada Day, he said that they mourn all those that they lost in this area. You notice a lot of indentations around, and obviously that was called from the heavy artillery fire on the 1st of July. The ironic thing was this was our artillery that failed all these. I mean, the barbed wire didn't, I mean, the artillery didn't destroy the barbed wire. It made it worse. Men got more tangled up in it. Yeah. All the things that you do